Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll be working on that Fiesta right here, Ford Fiesta. And uh, we'll be showing you guys how to remove and replace uh, the door lock. Okay, let me turn the light off. This door lock here, if yours doesn't work, door, door uh, lock actuator right here. Uh, so that should be the same guys procedure, almost the same procedure from 2008 all the way until 2017. Stay with us and let's go ahead and start on it now. Okay guys, so now we can go ahead, open the door. Okay, we will need to go ahead and remove the door panel. So uh, what we recommend guys is uh, to use, okay, panel removal tools, okay, right here so we can uh, uh, make sure that we don't scratch anything okay so we will get a little bit of screwdriver okay and right here guys we have a cap so if you open okay the door handle there is a place where you can pry that cap open just careful not to break it okay it is just like this one right here okay you pull them out like that that's how it's supposed to be the other one they just broke it okay we have one more on the bottom right here Next we'll need a uh, door removal, uh, uh, door panel removal too. Okay, because we'll need to remove that cap on the door handle right here. Good thing about those is that you don't scratch, okay, the trims with it. You still have to be careful, but it's not like you're prying with a screwdriver. Okay, that's how we pull this one out. Okay, now we're gonna get a uh, the long screwdriver with a T20 bit. Okay, let me show you this one is the star looking bit. Okay, like that, T20. And we need to go ahead and remove that screw on top. Okay, this one is out. And we have two more where we open the caps right here. Okay, you can see this one is coming out and this cap stays here. If you want actually, you can remove those, okay, like that, they're replaceable. I'll just take this one off not to lose it. And we need to remove the one on the bottom as well. Next, most likely we'll need a little bit bigger bit, we need to check because we have two screws Okay, one right here and one on top. And those are with T25, just the next step bigger. Okay, so we'll go ahead and remove the one on top. And we'll remove the one on the bottom as well. Make sure guys you subscribe, we'll probably have about 150 to 200 videos on that car. So if you need something you know that we will have it most likely if not just let us know and we will try to make a video for it okay we are ready with removing this one now okay we definitely need to detail it but we'll do that when we are done working on it okay this one is loose but it doesn't want to come out you can get a magnetic screwdriver that's what I like about those, that you can magnetize any screwdriver and you can pull it out. Okay, we'll get another panel removal too, okay, and it's uh, important, okay, to pry the panel out now. It has a few clips here and there. Sometimes it's really tight if it's never been removed, so we'll just start on the front side, it started coming out there first. Okay, now we have to lift it up because it needs to come out of the groove. Okay, right here. Okay, and we have one more clip right there that's holding. Okay, like that, came out. It's important not to pull too much. You always have to make sure you check everything around. Stay with us, we'll show you where all the clips are now. Next, we need to disconnect the cable 
for unlocking okay uh, uh, for the for the door handle for uh, opening the the door okay guys so uh, we'll show you exactly what it is there is one plastic piece right here that you need to pry towards the back okay this one right there it has two clips and then you push the cable towards the front okay let me show you now quick what I'm talking about okay this one you can see it has two teeth okay right here so you need to do that and pull it out next we need to go ahead and disconnect all the wires okay and this one is a little bit tricky now because it's hard to see there but first we'll, re we'll remove the speaker wire okay right there you just push in that centerpiece and pull it out uh, so we can have a little bit more room for the uh, mirror switch wires there now and if you cannot get that wire okay let me show you what you can do if you push from the back side okay the top end of the thing will come out okay like that and then you pull it out okay like that okay now let me show you where the wire is okay actually the tube is on the bottom that's why it's good guys to watch the video before we taking things apart okay and you can just pull the wire out when you're ready to install it okay let me just show you that uh, because you need to know that you need to go okay like that okay it goes in a certain angle and you push it in like that okay guys next uh, we have quite a few more wires here to disconnect okay on this one here that's the first one you push the middle piece in and pull out okay we have that big one same thing okay we have one more two more actually one more okay that green one okay you can see this is the thing that you need to press in okay and then you pull the wire out and usually if they are stuck you need to push in a little bit first push the button and pull it out okay now you can see one of our clips is missing it came from on the door panel so now we need to go ahead and remove that clip and actually install it okay down here okay so we removed it with our tool and we we'll just install it on the door door panel so now let, let me show you where all the clips are you can see you have two on the front on the bottom you have three and three on this side Okay, this is the one that we had to be careful with because it came loose. Okay guys, so now uh, we're to the point that we get to the point that this is the uh, side crash airbag sensor. Okay, right here. So, it's recommended guys to disconnect the battery of the vehicle for one hour before you disconnect that sensor. And if you don't, uh, there is a possibility that something will go better with... Uh, exploding an airbag which is uh, not very common but always be safe and you might have the airbag light on when you put everything together and you have to reset it if you disconnect the battery for one hour before the repair you don't have to worry about that okay next uh, we're going to disconnect the uh, window molar now because we need to remove that black cover you can see the window molar is on top of it okay three screws with uh, T25 Torx Torx bit Okay, we'll need to disconnect the wire. Okay, you push in here in the middle Okay, and you pull it out. Sometimes they tend to get stuck. This one didn't. Okay, this is the window motor. Next we need to remove the door speaker but we'll wait because we might not need to do that. So let's just see first. Okay, the last things we take apart the better. Okay, 8 millimeter socket here. You can see we need to remove those. Bolts. And they have thread lock on those. So we can install thread locker at the end. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we cannot remove the black thing. What we need to do, 
uh, because it's part of the window system we need to push the window down okay until it's two holes right here okay let me show you one right there one here with a 10 millimeter socket there two bolts careful not to drop those in okay so we'll need to go ahead and remove them You don't have to remove them all the way. You need to get them loose only three, about three revolutions. There you go. Then you can grab the window. Okay, let's see if it's going to come out without removing any seals. Okay, just like that. You can see the windows is out now. Okay, guys, so now that thing we will need to slide to the phone. In order to remove it, we need to disconnect the wires. And this is a little bit tricky part now right here. Okay, you need to pull it out on top, you have one tooth, okay, right here, that you pull out, and on the bottom you have two teeth. Okay, once we remove it, I'm going to show you what we're talking about. You have two on the bottom, and you have to press both of them at the same time. Okay, still... Still messing with it. I don't know who came up with that design, but it's not fun. Okay, eventually came out, guys. So now we need to pull it out for all the wires. Okay, you see, pull a little bit more. Okay, just a little bit more okay now we can go ahead and disconnect the wires again that's why we needed to disconnect our battery so we have one thing on top right here that we need to press down okay once we disconnect them I'm going to show you what exactly needs to be done because there is no room to put the camera and the hands there okay we got them out black one on top okay white one on the bottom Okay, and you can see now, okay, right here, this thing on the back, okay, you need to press it down and pull it out. And you have identical thing on the gray one as well, on the bottom. Okay, you can see the wires now. We need to get them out of the seal. And the speaker, guys, in order to remove it, you have only three screws and a wire to disconnect. Pretty simple there, I think we forgot to mention that part so you can get your hand in there. Okay, and there is one clip holding the cables, all the wires in place. Pretty, pretty big clip. Okay, we got the clip out, it has, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you what exactly he has there, holding it. It's very bad design, guys. Okay, careful not to break your door seal. There is uh, clips that you can remove there. Two little clips. Okay, we got this thing out of the way now. Disconnect the mirror wire. Okay, like that. Now there is two clips right here and you need to slide it towards the front. Okay, like that. Towards the front. And then you need to mess with it until it comes out of the door. It's really complicated thing okay and right here our wire is holding a little bit these two wires if you have small hands you might try to disconnect them what we're going to do actually we'll remove these three screws now okay that's t30 right here okay like that because it's very very limited room there okay now we need to come in an angle okay and we can pull that thing out of there those are the wires you can see one of them you can reach it okay this one right here and it's removable okay guys now for the door lock actuator if you need to replace the door handle mechanism as well uh, now we need to remove the door handle okay there is one plastic cap right here 
we will remove it with the plus uh, with the trim removal too and right here there is one board with a T20 okay start looking bit you just go straight okay we're a little bit up so right there somewhere okay and you need to unscrew this quite a bit until the door lock cylinder comes out okay like that i'm gonna leave this in place okay and now uh, let me show you here what we're going to do uh, you're going to open and remove that seal so you don't break it okay pull it on the door handle gently okay you need to push a little bit uh, to the outside and then towards the back a lot okay like that okay now we have the wire on the back we don't need to disconnect it so just be careful not to scratch your paint you can disconnect the wire if you need to we're going to go ahead and remove that screw and actually we will need to disconnect the wire right now i forgot because okay this is the wire okay right here and you need to disconnect it right here okay but let me actually get a little screwdriver okay, and you can pry that little white piece up a little bit out that's the holder it's very important to install it in place later because otherwise you might uh, the window might catch it and break a regulator break a wire okay now we need to remove the white bracket okay he has two teeth just spread them out okay and push towards the the bag you see it okay you push it out there is one tube that will catch on the back side that thing is a joke guys i mean it's taking so much work and oh it caught again a little bit okay we pull it out this is the wire now <laughs> okay you can see you need to press in there or press the little thing out actually hold the door handle okay and we disconnected it guys right here next one person need to hold the uh, panel on the inside okay you need to slide it and okay guys so uh, you have to hold it okay right here and let's see if when if we can get it out now and when you slide it forward okay it's going to come out with the whole system right here you can see how complicated that thing is so for the wires you press down here push them out okay that's the door lock actuator right here guys okay this wire you are not able to disconnect because our has the uh, remote uh, the the uh, push start button okay keyless entry so that's why but some models will not have this one next we need to remove two screws okay that's with uh, torx 20 again this is the screw one more on top there okay you can see how it pulls to the side now now we need to disconnect the cable okay You can disconnect them on top or bottom top is usually easier depending how your new one comes uh, what parts it comes with okay this one has only two t that we need to press in okay right here and when you press both of them in it's going to come out but it's really tight fit there Okay, once you press them in, both of them, okay, you can pull it out. Okay, it goes like that. Now we need to disconnect the locking mechanism right here. Okay, you have to be careful, very careful here now. Okay, this one right here. Uh, almost, almost hit it out. Okay like that guys 
And this is the door lock actuator. How complicated that could be, right? That's it guys, right here. Okay guys, so the new one now. You install it guys, again in the same order we took it apart, remember now? Pretty much reverse order that we took everything apart. We need to get that in, in there. Okay, like that. And what we're going to do actually, go ahead and install the screws. And on the bottom there, okay, you have one glide that you need to get in, so it fixes it in place. Okay, and when you do that, you can go ahead, get the screws in, get those tight. Stay with us, we will cover most of it now, how to put it together here. And then the rest of it will be exactly in reverse order that we took it apart. Okay, we need to make sure that you connect the cable here. Don't forget this one, otherwise your door handle will not work. Okay. Like that. Pull out, push in. Okay. Make sure that everything is tight. Okay, just like that. Okay guys, now it's important to get everything in place. Two people will be recommended for that job because one need to hold on the inside, one on the outside. Okay, you see right here, we need to make sure that the door handle comes in place. Don't forget to connect your power wire. Okay, you can do that later too, but uh, just to make sure that everything's connected. The more things you do now, the, the better, so that way you don't forget anything. Okay, now we can see the door handle is coming. Okay, right there. Okay, it, one second. Okay, it's in place. So what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and install the screw right here. Okay, and get this one tight now with the same T20 so it fixes it in place and it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, it needs to go a little bit towards the inside. You can see where the screw used to be. Okay. Perfect. You have the wire on your door handle. Now it's the time to feed it through the hole here. Okay, and just push it in until it clicks. And you need to install the mount in the right way. Okay, so that way you make sure that the window doesn't get to the wire when it goes up and down. Okay, you can see, just like that. Okay, we are ready to get the, the door handle in place. Okay, it's a little bit stressful job because everything has to be lining up really good. Okay, and now we need to go towards, towards the front. And I didn't hear. Okay, this thing came apart, so I need to push it back in. Okay, like that. Okay, let's try one more time. Okay, it got in. You gotta make sure that it works before we put it together. So what I'm going to do, okay, we need to install that rubber seal now here in place. Like that, and we'll get the lock seal in there. Okay, push it in. And you need to get it tight. Okay, all the way here. Okay, now that's like fishing, guys. It's quite a bit of. Okay, we're getting it tight now. You can see it takes quite a bit. Okay, that's it. You gotta make sure that your locking mechanism works. Okay, that it's moving everything on the inside. You can see right here, otherwise your door will not work. Okay, perfect.
Okay, next we will install. Okay, the screws here, but I could get this one. You can install thread locker on those. Okay, next this wire will need to go through the panel and right here we have three glides. You can see one, two, three. Those are on the panel right here. So those glides need to go in the big holes and then you need to slide everything towards the back. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky now, a little bit tricky part guys. Okay, so what we're going to do actually, we'll get this one out of the hole too. Okay, that's you because otherwise it will be almost impossible to push it later. Okay, this thing is placed and now we need to make sure that we get the clips in. Okay, that's a very complicated thing, I won't be able to show you. But once we get them in, you need to slide towards the back. You can go with your hand through the speaker and actually check if all of them are in. When you slide it towards the back, you gotta make sure that all the holes are lined. And install everything in reverse order, guys. So from now on, it's not so complicated. Connect the wires, put the door panel. So that's how you remove, remove the door lock actuator. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. We have probably about 150 videos on that car.